Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Elven Dragon, here on Stone Block 3. So last episode, we went and defeated the Mother Silverfish and upgraded our sword and got a very nice electric bow here. Since then, I've defeated it another couple times, died a whole bunch because it keeps escaping every time I die to a skeleton, and also went and started gathering up a bunch of the resources that we are going to need get all the singularities hence why i'm currently standing in a field of emerald clusters because for this i have to go and use my pickaxe here and vein mine all of these up and i still have to do that another 400 times of pickaxe durability or so if i want to get all of the infinity items in the ultimate armor tab here i went and calculated up how many infinity catalysts that we are going to need to get all of the infinity ingots and everything else. And that would be 114 infinity ingots, which equates to 1,260 infinity catalysts, including the ones that you need for things like, I believe, the sword. Yeah. So we need a lot more emerald clusters and unfortunately mining these all up is the quickest way to do so. Now I have gone and sorted all of our stuff out here based on how easy it's going to be to get we have our mob soul and our xp jelly babies here in the middle because we already have those we already have farms to get these and we are currently working on them mob souls is a little slow if we head over to our area we can see that and i did get a ring that allows me to dash like this from a ultimate silverfish it's Kind of nice, the woo sound is a little weird. But you can see we've got 39 of those. And we are getting very, very close on the EXP Jelly Babies thing. And also with our magnet upgraded, we are sucking items out of there. Anyway, so we are getting really close on the EXP Jelly Babies one. And then we just need to get all the mob souls. I still don't like that we can't put stuff in that automatically. I honestly remember being able to do that in the front now anyway we've got jelly babies to stick in there but our bottom ones here are the ones that we do not have the stuff to get some of these are going to be easier than others like this corrupted ingot we could probably do now if we really wanted to however we do have some like this man of steel ingot that we can't actually get we do have some from the bees but not quite enough the wall singularity we have to craft the ethereal slate we have to get and we need a source of source gems. Same thing with the polonium pellet, but we already have a lot of the mechanism stuff to do that. So I think today we're going to be focusing on, look, not the polonium, the source gems. Because this we get with Ars Nouveau, and we need to go into Ars Nouveau to get this focus summoning so we can get more silverfish shards so that we can summon more mother silverfish. Now, the other sections we have is we have this section here, which is all stuff that we cannot get from EMC, but we can get right now if we really wanted to. We could probably get a decent amount of pig iron just by alloying stuff. And everything up here is stuff we can just stick into the EMC table or our EMC generators, which we have over here for our annual power flowers, which, yes, we are all the way up to cyan for this one here. And wow, that's actually going really, really well. I might actually be able to upgrade that almost immediately to blue. Anyway, we have a lot of stuff here going on. And including our magenta matter here already being gathered. So I'm going to take a quick look at what we need to do to get started on Ars Nouveau stuff. And then I'll be right back. All right, so a little bit of research into... This chapter later and it looks like we're gonna need some arch wood logs and wood so I got a few logs I got a tree set up in our botany pot area which is the grass room all the way over there and I went and dug out a new space to put these which hopefully this should be big enough I did put in a couple hallways leading off of here for some other magic stuff, because we do need to go into blood magic and Batania just a little bit for a few things. 
So it looks like the first thing we need is to get this novice spell book. So we need to get that. And eventually we need to get this focus of summoning, which needs this enchanting apparatus. And this Wilden Tribute, obtained by defeating the Wilden Chimera. A ritual of Summon Wilden. So, we're going to have to look at that. Novice, oh, Invalid Spell. Oh, so we got some spells here. Projectile. Summons a projectile applies spell effects when this projectile hits a target or block. Spell spells on the caster. Applies spells at the blocker entity that is targeted. Harm and Break. Okay. This is, oh, Documentation. There we go. Looks like we have a lot of stuff to read. Okay, we can do that later. What is next on our list here? It looks like we need this scribes table to make glyphs, which is archwood slabs and some archwood logs. And it looks like some sticks. Hopefully we don't need too many sticks. We've got plenty of them though, but we just need a few of those, that, one, two, three, Scribes table. So that should allow us to craft glyphs. What we need to use these for, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that would be explained. Oh, so it looks like we can learn new glyphs this way. Okay, we are definitely going to have to read through this here and see what we need. So, looks like I've got a little bit of reading to do. All right, so a little bit of reading later, and it looks like we've got a lot of stuff that we need to get here. I hope that this space is big enough for everything. But we need to get this imbuement chamber, which is pretty simple. And eventually we need to get this enchanting apparatus in order to get the focus of summoning. But for that, we need a source of source. So I think initially we're going to start out with this volcanic one. Because we can get the stuff for that pretty easily. But I think this vitalic source link here might do really well if we set that up over by the mob farm and if i'm not mistaken the source relay here might do the trick what we want to do so ultimately what we really just need is we need that impugnment chamber because that's all we actually need to get the infinite source gems so let's go get this set up and get some lapis in it, because I think that's all we need. Let's see, center of the room should be right there. Add source nearby to increase craft speed. Okay. So that's what we need these for, which is a source jar. We may move that over a bit. How many blocks do we actually have over here? Looks like we got at least two. Okay. This is going to look a little weird for a bit, but I think this will look better when we actually have the imbuement cha not the imbuement chamber what is it enchanting apparatus in the center and we'll put the imbuement chamber over there just leave that there. so looks like we need two gold and a lava egg as well as a bit of glass we already have enough archwood slabs here so we gotta walk down the hall Oh, hey, in the time it took us to get all of that, it actually grew a source gem. Nice. All right, let's get our source jar. Oh, I forgot the lava egg. Oops, stick that there. I think the volcanic relay, or the warp relays, will allow us to transport stuff wirelessly effectively. And hopefully that works for what we want to do. Now, this will start turning stuff into lava, so we're going to have to be careful. Go and put it right here. I don't know how this is supposed to work. We just... Oh, there we go. That's working. Okay. That's how that's supposed to work. All right, so that's going to be very, very manual. How many of these things do we need? A lot. Oh, well, at least the lapis is easy to get. And so is all the coal blocks. So it looks like... I'm going to be getting a few source gems here. Now, for this we need the enchanting apparatus. And this, the vitalic source link we can just get easily. But we might as well keep going. Because again, we need, need this focus of summoning. So the enchanting apparatus here looks pretty simple. Four iron, a diamond, and a bit of stone. So we can easily get that. At least this 
part of it. It's not bad stone color. Maybe we'll have to play around with it. I did see a thing for gilded arcane stone. So we might get some of that. I think that might look nice. Be nice to actually start decorating our rooms again. I keep seeming to forget to do that for everything else. So where was the center of the room? Right here. Just keep uh, making more source gems and source. And that is producing stuff really fast, which is really nice. Anyway, let's check our book here, what we need for the enchanting thing. Arcane Pedestal, which is seven of those stone. All right, I need more stone and a lot more source gems. So I'm going to set up a few pedestals around there, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I have been a little busy and got a little carried away. And we pretty much managed to somewhat automate our source gem production here. Got a few stacks in there. But we still don't have the stuff to get all of our source gems here filled. And we do, however, have the stuff for our enchanting apparatus. Now, if we do this... Ah, we need a source relay in the middle. Alright. That's not too bad. Why do we have a skeleton horse in here? Okay, apparently we've got a skeleton horse in here now, and apparently several endermen. Alright, now we are ready for this. So, an arcane core must be placed beneath this block. What is that? Arcane yeah. core. Stone and gold. Okay, now we are ready to start crafting this thing. So, if we do that, that looks like that'll just do some magic-y stuff. That'll spin around. And that should get us the warp relay. 1x source relay warp. Now we just got to do that again, which is pretty simple. If I apparently put my ender pearls back in my storage system, but we'll just set one of those up over at the mob farm. We'll put the other one in there as we did, and that should be pretty easy. Now, thing that we do need to get for this is we need this Wilden Tribute, which we need to defeat the Wilden Chimera. For that, we need this Tablet of Seven Wilden, Wilden Spike, a Wilden Wing, and a Wilden Horn, and this Ritual Blazer, which is definitely going to be fun. I've been looking at the thing, and this seems like something we don't want to do right by our base. So I think we're going to go out to the caves area. It's not exactly the safest, but it's better than the nether. And I don't want to destroy our boss arena. So we've got a blazer. Let's head down here so we don't damage anything important. Like, you know, the portal or anything else that we actually want to keep. Not too concerned about most of the blocks down here. I guess here we'll do. So we've got a bow, which is half charged. We got our cleaver. We've got plenty of arrows. One two, three, and I'm going to run away from this thing. And then we have to defeat this at least once. Oh my. Um, this is going to be fun. At least we can deal a decent amount of damage with it. I'm here, and plus now it's on fire. So, clearly, using the caves was a good idea. And, yeah, hopefully it doesn't shapeshift. And hopefully there's not a phase two. I'm glad it creates its own uh, arena here. It looks like we got some uh, ores and stuff to collect and plenty of cobble. Hopefully it did not destroy the blazer though. But it looks like just one more hit. Oh, no. Okay, apparently it can uh, damage blocks now. And yes, there is a phase two. Yay! Just for... And now it's healing too. And it's still summoning tamed wolves. Feed three, strength three. Okay, that's not fun. The Chimera is raging. Regeneration 4. Great. We're at... Ooh. I did a pretty decent amount of damage. Hopefully this is the last phase. Not regenerating more. Nope, that's not the last phase. And it also pulled us in. That's not good. Um, we need to go recharge our bow and heal. Hopefully that doesn't affect it. Um, how do we get out of here? Oh no, it looks like now it can fly. And now it's summoned Wildens. Thank you, game. I definitely need a stick right now. Okay. Ooh. Raging means it pulls us in. And it also starts regening. Okay. 
But we're still doing a decent amount of damage to it, which is good. Okay, that looks like it was the last thing. And we got the Wilden Tribute. Awesome. All right, let's light up this area here. Thank good our blazer is not destroyed. We can use that again. Perfect. Also got a lot of clay, gold, quartz, some raw, raw, nah, raw uranite. Excellent. So what else do we need for this thing? Wing. All right, that's all we need. Excellent. Let's see if I can remember how to get back. All right, so one gold ingot is the last piece of this that we needed. So put all those on there. We get out for arcane, or source gems rather, to make one source block. And we stick that in there. Oh, hey, there's our other source relay. That should combine that, all that into our focus of summoning. Go. And now that should be all we need to get more silverfish shards. Let's see. Terra steel is pretty easy. We can get that. Not too bad. Dragon egg. Antimatter. Oh. Well, it's a good thing we're going to be getting polonium anyway. Fun. Okay, so apparently we can't quite get more silverfish shards yet. Also, we need an ethereal slate, which I believe we need anyway. Yeah. We need to get three ethereal slates. Anyway, okay, so currently that's not all that we need for that, but that is a big part of what we need to get more silverfish shards. So I think that'll be good. We just need to set this up over here. I did swap this out for a mob masher so we can get some more of the mob souls, which that seems to be going really well. Now all we really need is that Vitalik Source Link. So I think that with that, that is where I'm going to leave you all for today. I think next time we're going to get into some more of the magic stuff. Probably some very basic Batania. And get into probably blood magic because that looks to be the next thing that we need. And maybe also get some of this polonium. At least it walks us through getting it. But with that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more of what is going on down here and everything else that I work on. And I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye!